My next few videos are probably going to be Arduino related. I got a project in my head that I want to work on. So I contacted IC Station to see if they can send me a few items so I can try it on out and see if it'll work for the project I want to do. And the first thing I'm going to check out today, it's called a DS18B20 temperature sensor. It's basically a one wire protocol. You have power, ground, and a data line out. So it comes in a standard transistor style package and let's see if it'll focus for you. And it also has an indicator LED and a built-in pull-up resistor on their little board. So we're going to run it today on a little Arduino Pro Mini and see how well it works. So here we are on IC Station's website and here's the little board I showed you. It has the little transistor style temperature sensor. It's a three pin interface. Uh, oh, there we go, that's better. Um, you have VCC, ground, and your data line output. You have an indicator LED saying it has power, and the resistor for the LED for current limiting, and also a re pull up resistor for the data line, which is required for the package. So, to use this on the Arduino, we're going to use the Arduino one wire tutorial from Hacktronics. Partially down the page, you'll see one wire Arduino library, or if you look in the lower left of my browser right now, it says hacktronics.com backslash code backslash one wire dot zip. Download that. That will get you the library that will enable the Arduino to use it, plus a few examples. So I'm not going to show you how to install libraries. Hopefully you know how to do that by now. Let's minimize this. Let's go into our Arduino IDE. We'll go to our examples. Here's one wire installed. And we're going to use this one, the DS18X20 underscore temperature. Close out the blank window. Open this up. And you can see right here, one wire, it's telling you on pin 10. Now the way I wired this is you got ground and VCC are positive coming from the Arduino Mini. And the data line runs over to pin 10 of the Pro Mini. So, now that everything's set up, we'll go ahead and upload it real quick. Done uploading. Let's go to our tools, our serial monitor. And it's telling it's, it's a chip DS18B20. And it's scrolling so fast. Let me tell them not to auto scroll here. It's just going to keep on going. The data information, which I have no clue how to decode it. And then it tells the temperature, 25.31 degrees Celsius or 77.56 degrees Fahrenheit. No more addresses for it to access. Now let me tell it to scroll again and go all the way down to the bottom. And we keep an eye on the temperature here. It fluctuates slightly, but not too much. Now I'm going to pick it on up. I'm going to heat it up a little bit. There, as you can see, the temperature is coming on up. It's a little slow on this one because you got all that plastic of the, I think it's a TO220 package or whatever it is that is used by the standard transistor package. So it has a little bit of a heat soak and heat release time, but it's fairly accurate for what it does. And it reads, I think it's about a one second read each time. That's You're allowed to read it one hertz or one time a second. Anytime, anything faster, if you try to change with the uh, software at all, I think it'll just dump the same value at you. It's not ready yet. So that was really easy to get working. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this particular sensor for what I want to do with my project yet, but here's one example of what you can do if you just need a quick temperature measurement. It works really well. And as you can tell, since I still have it running, there it is blinking, saying that it's transmitting the serial data on over. Now, of course, you can take this information and eventually run it to a display instead of serial port. There's tons of other things you can do. But this was just so I can quickly see how accurate it is and how fast it can refresh and basically how good it worked. So if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below.